Thomas and Friends, Episode 34, A Tragic Loss. One morning, Edward was taking a goods train to Brendan Cox when he saw Feisty and, Feisty and Sassy, along with, two, with five familiar engines, in a sighting having a conversation. Hmm, that's interesting. Looks like those two trucks know Timothy and the negatives. What is this all about? Okay, you six. Boulder wants us to go on a rampage and get scrap any engines we can so we can get more rails and room for the super station. So, I need you guys to help me out here. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we put some dynamite on the tracks so when anyone runs over it, they'll blow up. Well, yeah, that's a good idea. I know that Luna's going to dump some molten slag or something on the track and see what happens, too. Huh. That seems like a very sinister plan. What are they up to, anyway? Just then, Pumpkin, the black and orange diesel, rolled up. S Timothy, we got, we got the dynamite and molten slag ready. Perfect. All according to plan. <laughs> Just then, Edward saw a familiar engine he hadn't seen in a quite a while. Then, he saw a diesel that he hadn't seen in a while, too, and was shocked to see who the two were. What? Emily? Why is she on the bad side? And what is Luna doing in that gang? This is crazy. It's time to show those engines that I did not commit that crime back in December. Oh yes, Emily, it definitely is. Wait, is that Edward I see over there? <gasps> Uh-oh, time to scoot. Okay, that's it, I'm out of here. And Edward puffed away as fast as he could. Yup, it was. Don't let him get away. Feisty, sassy, get after them. All right, we're on it, boss. Let's move. And Feisty and Sassy went straight after Edward at once. The tricks went after Edward as fast as they could, but ended up running into Spencer instead. Helping take Timothy and the negatives, I assume. Well, there'll be no more doing that today. Come with me, you two. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Where are you taking us? Whoa, 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 whoa. Not the ditch. No, no, no. Ah. Okay. At least we're still up. Don't speak too soon. Suddenly, the... Gr Suddenly, Feisty and Sassy fell a little further into the ditch. Ugh. Ah, this is so disgusting. Well, serves you right. I'm leaving now. Oh... Really, Silver Engine? It was safe to say that Feisty and Sassy were going to be stuck for quite a while. Meanwhile, Edward was heading back to Oldsworth Station, where he worked, when he saw some dynamite and some molten slag wagons on the track. Edward applied his brakes and stopped just in time. Then there was trouble. Gordon was thundering by with the express. He saw the dynamite wagons but couldn't stop. Then he crashed right into them. And the molten slag wagons and the dynamite went up into the air. Then they fell on top of Gordon and boom. What? No. Gordon, my friend. He's dead. Oh, this is so terrible. <gasps> what am I doing? I'm actually trying to get back over the railway that I actually do care about. This is a disaster. Emily saw the dead body of Gordon melted up and destroyed. So you two are behind this accident, huh? Why? Uh-oh, we're busted. You two are going to have to come with me. Let's go. Okay. And by the way, um, Emily was not the one responsible for the crime. 
I know. And this is why you got revenge? Yep. Uh, Hen Henry? Uh, can you get us out of here? Please? We promise we'll be good trucks from now on. And we mean that from the bottom of our hearts. Of course. Everyone deserves a second chance. I will get you out of there. Oh, thank you, Henry. We appreciate that very much. Ah, oh, thank you, Henry. We appreciate that so much. Yeah, you're a good friend. Well, you're absolutely welcome, you two. Now, as you all may know, Gordon has died in a fire today. And just so you know, the culprits have been found, but we believe there are some more. The police are looking into it right now. But I promise, if we all stay calm, we, things, things will get better. Just then, Feisty and Sassy rolled up. All right, Henry, we've made a decision. Starting today, Feisty and I have decided that we are no longer villains. And we mean that from the bottom of our hearts. Well, I'm proud of you, you two. Welcome to the good side. Yes, welcome to the good side, feisty and sassy. I'm glad to see you've changed. No. Oh, Boulder is definitely going to hear about this. Meanwhile, in train heaven. Oh! Oh, the indignity.